Bit boy crypto morning tea. Good morning, everybody. It's September 2nd, 2021. My name's Piano Matty B. This is Scaramucci's, and this is your morning TA. A brief glimpse into the crypto markets where the sun's shining, where the wind's blowing, all the humble opinion of this piano. Zamboni bringing the data. The FOMO index is up to 74 from yesterday's 71. And Nosy Miss Newsbomb social media market sentiment in a rent control department in Queens is up to 96%. That means every time people talk about Bitcoin it has a 96% positivity rate. Bitcoin dominance has inched up to 41.47%, and 24 hour volume is at 93 billion. And the overall market cap has increased to 2.27 trillion. Give or take a hundred million. Well, sometimes you wake up and you look at the charts, and boom, she pumps. <laughs> Over on the daily, we see as soon as we flip the 20 moving average back to support, price action just continued to go up and up and up. Cracking the 50k nut. Now and as a dad who wears on the side of safety and caution, before you just go play on the 50k park, I'd like to check out the volume to confirm our momentum and ticket sales are nice and proper like. And yeah, I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not great. I'll take it, but I'll keep my dad eye on it, hoping the volume increases. Now over on the four hour chart, we see a little bit of a W pattern playing out here. Now the important aspect to watch is the breaking of the neckline here at 50K. What I look for is a pump up to break it, then a retest of the neckline. And after that retest, the headline band called Entries Galore should take the stage. But the band won't come out until the retest flies. Now, the psychology behind the W pattern has to do with the buyers from over here at the start of the W. On August 23rd, those buyers saw 50K and their hearts started racing. Their pupils became dollar signs and they fumbled in only for the price to immediately drop down to 46. And at this point, they started the bargaining process. I swear if it just gets back to 50, I'm out and I'll never trade again. <laughs> sure. So it gets back to 50 and some of them are true to their desperate emotional bargaining and they exit. But some say, well, you know, let's just see where she's going. I mean, I waited this long and it's just numbers on paper and unrealized gains are no different than unrealized losses. And you know, the other side of the emotional bargaining process. And once those weekends sell and they tell their significant others that they love them out of guilt and shame. Then entries galore hit the stage and the show begins. Yes. Remember, tip your weight staff, everybody. And yes, don't think my dad I didn't see the low volume or ticket sales. I get it. I don't like it. But I'll take it nonetheless. Eight again after an almost 10% day yesterday. Cracks three bucks. We see an old-fashioned bull flag stacking here, pushing this double whammy deal over three dollars. First bull flag, second bull flag. Bobby's your uncle. And V Chain, the industry darlings at South by Southwest, had almost a 10% day yesterday too. <laughs> and for some reason, when I see V Chain giver, it makes me happy. They're like the Rudy of the alts. <laughs> And speaking of stacking bull flags, over on the daily, we can see a tri delta gamma of bull flags. One flag, then the second flag, then the three flag, pump, pump. Hey, a four flag, five flag, six flag? Who knows? <laughs> Once those ticket sales go up, the real fireworks happen. Like, think about the gains we've had with the low ticket sales. 
Now imagine what the show looks like with a sold out crowd. Heavens to Murgatroyd as that 50 moving average sneaks up to the 200. We just may see my favorite band this week, the 53 Fours hit the stage. Now that would be real proper like, so remember, we're playing the same game as our psychopathic elected leads. That's right, it's a long game. So zoom out and have a fantastic day. A bit boy crypto morning tea. Oh, chit, 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 ching.